China state media is reporting Premier Li Keqiang has died at the age of 68 from a sudden heart attack. He was arguably the second most powerful political figure in China. Helen Ann Smith filed this report earlier. Li Keqiang was a very astute politician and although many believe he did disagree with many of the things Xi Jinping did and said, uh, occasionally hinting at that, he never sort of openly opposed his leadership. He was a party loyalist uh, in the end. But I think he's really a bit of a symbol here in China of potentially what could have been and, and a bit of a symbol as well as what's happened under the leadership of Xi Jinping. If you are a potential would-be reformer, if you're a potential would be maybe opponent or, or someone who wants to voice a different opinion. Um, Li Keqiang actually comes from relatively humble backgrounds, certainly more humble than, than many people at the top echelons of uh, China's Communist Party. He studied law here in Beijing. He was actually friends with a lot of pro-democracy activists, some of whom fled the country after the 1989 crackdown in Tiananmen Square. And he then became a, a qualified lawyer and rose up, as you say, to be essentially the second most powerful person in China. And he held that position for a decade and he was known for being uh, very pro-market reform he was known for championing the rights of companies over uh, this sort of state control and as with uh, Li Keqiang even when he was in power you know power was slowly taken away from him things like party commission set up that, that moved power from government ministries that would have um, reported into him moving that power away slowly subtly and then at Congress uh, last October which is where the party has a big reshuffle Li Keqiang uh, wasn't above retirement age. He, while he was expected to step down as premier, he could have had another senior role, but he was not given one, and many other Xi Jinping loyalists uh, were promoted instead. Worth noting as well, he was one of the only people who tentatively, uh, and I say tentatively, spoke up against the very extreme zero COVID measures and the damage that that was doing um, to the economy. Uh, political deaths are always considered pretty sensitive here in China. Historically, they've sometimes brought people out out into the streets, but worth saying Xi Jinping's China again is a very different China to back in those days. Uh, police power control much, much more stringent. Actually, Li Keqiang potentially slightly less of a charismatic figure than some of those previous ones who have uh, prompted um, protests. But nonetheless, I think there are Chinese people today uh, who feel very sad about this um, and certainly sort of liked uh, Li Keqiang and believed in what he stood for. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has offered his heartfelt condolences to Mr Lee's family and the people of China, releasing a statement that reads in part, I was saddened to learn of the passing of former Premier of the State Council of the People's Republic of China, Mr Li Keqiang. During Mr Lee's period in office, significant strides were made in our bilateral relationship, including the conclusion of the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement. When we met last year in the margins of the East Asia Summit, we discussed the importance of these ties and our desire to see them develop further.